Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shenplays. Welcome to EU Fort Mare Nostrum, where we are going to hop in as Kuba. Kuba has an achievement called Kuban Cigars, where you have to conquer Havana, or colonize it if it's available, and then be the world's leading producer of tobacco. Let's see if the game loads here. I do have a bunch of mods turned on. Please load. Yeah, all right. Not all of the mods are updated yet, but we got transparent political borders to work. So that looks nice. We can see some of the hills and shit underneath the map now. Nice, nice, yeah. Good. Good. Okay, and we got darker waters as well. Not everything's up to date, though. The uh, TBARW UI mod is not updated yet. They're going to have to add in room for corruption and sailors up here. Anyway, let's get started. First things first, we are a landlocked nation. We have no relationships at all, meaning we have no vassals, no personal unions, none of that jazz. Did I mention that we are fetishist religion? Because we are fetishist. This is the new religion. Tolerance of heretics is good. Reputation is good, and local missionary strength is good, but that just means it's easier for Christians to convert you or Sunnis to convert you. It doesn't give you any missionary strength in other lands. But yeah, we, we're going to have to make our way to the coast. If we want to go to Havana, we got to get a coastline. We need a port, and right now we have no ports at all. And believe it or not, just getting to Lake Tanganyika is not going to work because those boats can't get out of there. We can get to Lake Victoria, but that's still not going to work because those boats can't get out of there either. So either we go to Mutapa and Kilwa to this coast, or we go to this coast. This is far more likely. Just go conquer Congo. All right. Well, who is our illustrious leader? King Bope Mobinji Kuba. 19 years old, 212. Pretty shit leader. But I eh, can't complain. It's not the end of the world. And we are a tribal monarchy. A political system where a large tribal society has formed a kingdom with one strong ruler who rules through law. Stability is cheaper. We get less diplomatic relations. We get more income from vassals. Extra diplomat. Five extra states. We'll go over states in a little bit. National focus cooldown is, is quicker. Cool. So we can change our national focus five years faster. And we probably do want to start off with a national focus. Uh, either admin or diplo. Probably admin. Start off with that. Also going to start off making a Merc and a Cavalry. Please do Cav. There you go. And the political situation. Well, we have three rivals. And it's basically everyone that we border. So if we check our rivals map mode. Where's rivals? There it is. All these orange guys are people that it's a mutual rival. So they rivaled me and I rivaled them back. Yaka. Lunda. Kalundwe. Now, does rivaling them give us a mission? Sure does. Conquer Songye. I'll take that mission. So we have a mission to conquer this province. Good. Now we need allies. Okay, you want to be my ally? Perfect. Do it. You also want ally? Let's do it. And you want ally. Perfect. So we got three allies. We got Fat Banana, we got Turd Looking Guy, and we got Luba. The Kuba Luba dream is alive. All right, now did you get any allies? You did. You allied Kazembe. You don't have allies. Okay, I'm going to send a mm, diplomat here on a covert mission to build a spy network. And this is the new way you get claims. You start off by putting a spy in there. And a spy is just your diplomat. And then every month, your spy will generate points. It says it'll increase our points by 1.73 per month. So in like six months or seven months, we'll have 10 points. Once you have 10 points, you can go back into this interface and just make a claim. And the claims are instant. So once you get your 10 points, you just instantly get your claims. You just got to remember to do it manually. All right, so for the first bit here, I'm going to lower funding on the army. I'm going to go fabricate a little bit over here. Oh, shoot. You allied, you allied Congo. I can't fight Congo. Gross. Gross. All right. So we're just going to build spy network for now. Speed up. Maybe not speed five. Speed five is kind of crazy. 
Speed 4 will work, though. Just get our units built. Get these claims coming in. We're going to marry all these clowns. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think marriages are just a bad idea. We'll improve relations, but I'm not going to marry you. Marrying is a commitment. Marrying means you lose stability if you declare war on them. I think it's a little too crazy to do that. All right, we're at five spy points, seven spy points. We're getting there. Our units are done building. Good, good. We're still making half a ducat. Man, we are rich. Half a ducat. Mm -mm. Getting some power projection for having rivals. Nice. Okay, we have our 10 points. Now, you don't need to pull your diplomat back when you're ready to make a claim. Just click on the nation and fabricate the claim. We also got 10 points down here. Fabricate there. And we got 10 points over here. Fabricate there. So it looks like our first target's going to be this dude, because we have two claims on him now. And his only ally is Pink Dude down here. So if I were to declare war, it would be just him and Pink Dude. Yep, that sounds good to me. So we'll conquer this guy and we'll try to vassalize Pink Dude. Okay. So first things first, I need to know, is our king, is he any good at combat? If he is, then we're set. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. A 2-3. I wish he had a siege pip, but oh my god, a 2-3. I love it. Okay, so now I need to know, do any of my allies pull my diplomats back? Actually, I still need the one over here. Do any of my allies want to go to war right now? Because if they do, like if Luba wants to go to war... Fuck, I'm golden. Do you have any claims? He has no claims. Do you have desired lands? Oh, he wants everything. Okay, so he'll probably want to go to war. He'll probably want to help me here. Let's find out. Here, go back here. Build Spy Network. What do you say? Oh, 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 this guy wants to join too. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I need all of them to join, but they're both interested. Poop Boy and Luba both want in. Perhaps I'll bring in Poop Boy for this one. Maybe. You know what, I'll start off bringing in no one and then I can call them in if the war becomes terrible. Because we, I don't think I want to uh, declare for song. I don't think I want to call them in if I don't have to. They may declare their own wars, by the way. It's possible. Interesting. All right, I'm, I'm just going to do this for now. Okay, Kazembe's in. He has a 3-1. Wow, that's a pretty good general, but mine's better. What? He evaded me? Oh, man, that was a same-day arrival bullshit. Oh, that's terrible. All right, well, I gotta fight him before this, before this army down here comes up. I gotta fight. I gotta kill this stack. He's gonna siege my capital. If I had a siege pip, I could just siege him down first. But I don't have a siege pit. Was that a giraffe? Oh my god, there's a fucking giraffe out here. I never noticed that. Look, we got a giraffe now. We got a giraffe. We got a giraffe. And we got a giraffe. All right. So I'll take a negative one to my attack here. I got to. I just got to keep going. Come on, morale of troops. 1.79. There we go. All right, hopefully we get a crush off here. We do have a better general, but we're taking a negative one to our attack because of the jungle. Rolling zeros doesn't help. Okay, no crush. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna retreat down here to this land. Oh, please, please go to your capital, go to your capital. Oh, he's going to his capital, beautiful. 
Okay, we can crush him then. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this siege going. Shouldn't be too tough. Wish I had a siege pit, but eh, what are we gonna do? Apparently this guy can't even come up to fight me. He has no access. He has a pretty good general though. He's got a siege pip, two shock. So if we're going to fight him, I don't want to fight him down here because it's Highlands. Unless I get there first. If I get there first, then I would love to fight him. Luba declared on this guy. <laughs> Dude, declare all you want. It doesn't matter. I was here first, yo. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Now Lunda is at war with this guy, too. Oh, that'd be good. You guys go fight your armies. You guys go fight. Luba has declared war. Okay. One shot. You know what? This is this is golden. We need access down here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, they're fighting. Perfect. I just need to get down here and land first. I just need to get here first, that's all. Okay, we're golden. We got there first. Sweet! That's so good. So what I was thinking is we would vassalize pink dude down here. Whoa. Congo just declared on Yaka. Yes, he did. Oh, that looks fun. I tell you what. I tell you what. Congo is ripe for the picking. If he's going to be in a war against those three nations who have other... Oh, he's going to lose. We can go in next Congo. Oh, my God. This is an amazing start. It's amazing. Oh my god, Congo has a four shock general. Are you kidding me? Congo has a four shock general. That is disgusting. I mean, I got a three shock general, but that ain't no four shock general. Holy balls. And it looks like Congo's actually going to win. Thanks to that four shock general, he's just going to win. Wow. That's brutal. Yeah, he's at plus four war score. He won those battles. Four shock. Consider me jelly. Four shock is crazy. Four shock is crazy. Get relations up over here. And down here. Oh, good job, Bope Mubiji. Thank you for embarrassing the court. You've done a good service, I think. Wow, Congo's just crushing in this war. It's 33 war score already. That four shock general, wow. It's just so good. Let's watch how, how it does in combat. Four shock versus one shock. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, it's disgusting. That is disgusting. Oh, wow, he lost? The four shock lost. Wow, oh my God, yes, turn the war around. Turn it around. You can do it, guys. You can beat Congo. I believe in you. Sort of. I mean, just a little bit. They got a wall breach and everything. Hey, thanks for the drop in stability. I appreciate it. I guess I can just bump it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to go to plus one. You get some nice bonuses for being at plus one. Uh, where are we? Since we are a pagan faith, we get bonuses like Encourage Divination, Religious Sacrifices, Vision Quest, and all you need is Stability 1. It gives you Unrest minus 1 for the whole game. It's amazing. Stability cost is cheaper for the whole game. It's like, yeah. Oh, but for that, we need a better ruler. Our ruler sucks. So we need a ruler with Admin 3 before we can do the nice event. We'll get there eventually. All right, let's get this cab out of here. Now, did anyone declare directly on Kazembe? Is he the war leader in these wars? No. No. So he's not the war leader in any wars. Good. Good. So I can vassalize him and it won't bother anyone. Is that a... Uh, uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off my darker my darker waters mod. That's the darker waters mod. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of that mod after this. <laughs> okay. So I can vassalize this guy and it won't matter. Alright, here we go. Round two of four shock. I hope that four shock guy dies. Round two of four shock versus one shock. Yeah, now the four shock is gonna conquer. It was close the first time, not the second time. Oh, we're getting even more dark water splotches. Okay, I'm just not gonna not gonna watch that. Not gonna. Oh, we took our first loan. No, don't take loans. We found oil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll go float an oil platform out there. You know, I can declare on this guy without any repercussions, I don't think. No, Chokwe would join. Still, is Chokwe a problem? No, Chokwe is not really a problem. There you go. Congo has crushed the opposition. He's got to be at like 70. Is he only at 40 war score? Really? I thought he'd be at like 70 by now. But yeah, this guy is definitely vulnerable next. Let's go full annex him. Wall breach for the win. Oh my god, those splotches. Those splotches are getting big. Darn it, I was really hoping to get the mods to work, and it's like, nah, they're not going to work yet. That's okay. The DLC came out yesterday, so I'm not surprised the mods aren't fully updated yet. We'll get there. Come on, don't make me take another loan. I don't want a loan. There we go. Okay, so it says here if I vassalize you, what? Yeah, it won't pull me into any wars because he's not the war leader in any wars. I would like your money, too. Okay, maybe not that. Man, I wish I could take 99 ducats. I'll just take whatever I can afford so I can pay off my loan. There we go. Okay, good. We have a vassal. We have a vassal! And he's disloyal because he's a little shit. I'll take a prestige hit for you, bro. We can be bros. It's fine. Now, Luba's upset because I took a whole bunch of land that he wanted. But hopefully he doesn't break the alliance. Yeah, see how he, he wants those? They're red. But we're allies, so perhaps he'll unread them. In fact, let me see if I watch him live. Will he unread them on camera for me? Maybe not. Maybe at the end of the month. Let's check. Let's watch. Do I want a marriage? Not really. Marriage is a little too much commitment for me. I want to ally this guy, Tio. Little one province miner over there. All right, end of the month. Turn off your desires. No, he still wants them. Okay, that's terrifying. He still wants the land. So he's not going to like it when I annex this guy. It's going to be a little perturbed.
Okay, I gotta start getting relations up with my vassal. I need him to like me. And I really want to go to war with Congo, but he just looks too strong. That four shock general is... It's just murder, man. I can't deal with that. Now, if I declare on Linda, it would be just Chokwe. Okay, I could handle Chokwe, I think. I think I can handle Chokwe, because Linda has no army. All right, done. Oh, Luba's going to break the alliance. Improve relations with Luba. Man, I wish I could. I wish I could. He's, uh, he's going to break that alliance. He's gone hostile. Okay, can I change rivals now? Let's see. Rivals. I can rival Luba. I can rival Congo. I think Congo's a good choice. Because I'm going to want him to be a rival. I don't know if I want Luba to be a rival. Oh, perhaps. I don't have to choose right this second. I am definitely going to take Encourage Divination, though, for National Unrest minus one. Yes. So do can we keep our alliance with Luba? That's the question. The answer is probably not. Go ahead and get these coring. I don't think I can keep this alliance. Not when he's hostile. You know, though, I'm his only ally. You know what? I'm his only ally. I'm going to eat this guy. Like, there's no reason to leave him alive. My vassal has a claim. All I need is a claim and I can go to war. I don't even need a claim. I can go to war right now. Uh, no, we're going to have a truce, right? Okay, rival Luba. We'll have a truce, though. Okay, we're rivaled each other. He has no... Al oh, he just allied someone? He just allied Chokwe. You know what? I'm going to go in next to your ally, okay? How's that sound? I'm going to go and... Wow, my, my Diplo... Or my uh, force limit is up to nine now. Okay. I could increase the autonomy to get rid of unrest. <sighs> but if I do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose some force limit here. Two point oh seven. One point nine two. Yeah, so our force limit went down to eight. But that's okay. Do I want to build an eighth soldier? I definitely want to repay this loan. Do I want an eighth soldier? I don't think I need it just yet. But it's available if I do. Okay, choke way. Let's do it. So it's these two guys now. Did you declare a war? No, okay. He's moving his troops though. There we go, let's take him out. Do you have a siege pip? He does. You know what? I'm going to use my vassal to siege. So I'll just put a dude here with the check mark. And I'll say, hey, vassals, group up mode, baby. Drop a dude and move. Drop a dude and move. Excellent. Now Kuba's or Luba's gonna have no allies again. Which is perfect. And I can attack him soon. So let's get our Oh, we already are doing a spy network. Okay. Do we actually have a truce though? We do. We have a five-year truce. Okay, so I can't declare on him for a little while. That's alright. 
Sinjay, okay. Okay. How's relations over here? 39? Okay. Let's get relations up with our vassal. Whew. You know what, though? That's going to have to do for the first episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to turn off these mods, and I'll be right back for episode two. Bye-bye.